one of the most common justifications you might hear for logging is that clear cuts increase biodiversity for things like birds or ungulates like deer, elk, or moose, which is a big incentive for folks who hunt. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. See, clear cuts appear to give a boost in wildlife, mostly because it's more visible than in a forest. You know, none of those pesky trees to obstruct the view. Yet a majority of these species still rely on having forests nearby, coming to the clear cuts to graze or feed, but then retreating back to the woods in order to build their nest, raise their young, and seek shelter from predators, as numerous studies have shown with deer and elk. These same studies also show that these clear cuts don't actually increase populations of deer or elk, but instead concentrate them into areas where there's more bountiful food, which in turn makes them more susceptible to predation by wolves or coyotes or by human hunting, which actually drives down their populations. Then after the first decade of a clear cut, the regrowing second growth forest is just too dense for big ungulates to move through freely, so they end up migrating elsewhere. And then after about 20 years or so, the taller trees form a dense single layer canopy that blocks the sunlight and shades out the understory, meaning that very little grows here to provide food. So there aren't any bears, birds, deer, elk, or other critters that live here long term, effectively making this a biodiversity desert. Now it's going to remain this way until it's able to succeed naturally and mature into a diverse forest ecosystem that provides habitat, shelter, and food for all the critters that call these forests home. But that can take over 150 to 300 years depending on the specific forest type and for certain species who require structural complexities in these trees it can be thousands of years if they're able to return at all so no commercial logging and clear cuts don't actually increase biodiversity of a forest and are ecologically inappropriate in every single forest type despite the profit-driven rhetoric of many forest managers who will say otherwise alternatively selective harvesting that creates mixed age and species stands has been shown to increase biodiversity while maintaining more ecological complexity so instead of clear cuts of any size we should be working with selective eco-forestry harvest practices that fit the specific needs of each forest stand to maintain not only biodiversity but ecological functions that stores carbon and reduces the impacts of wildfire, drought, and other climate-driven impacts. Let's do logging better to create a better world, not only for us humans, but the birds, bears, deer, elk, and all the others we share these lands with.